One of the reasons that I, I like making art in the lab is that a, a scientific paper is only a really limited slice of what a scientist experiences. Part of these experiences is seeing really striking things uh, every day. My name is Adam Brown. I'm a fourth year graduate student in computational neuroscience in the laboratory of David Byron. Uh, in the Byron lab, we study the neurobiology and behavior of a little worm, uh, which is a nematode called C. elegans. So animals live in a very dynamic world where conditions are constantly changing. So this is the kind of situation that we wanted to impose uh, on C. elegans, you know, put them in an environment where they would need to make quick decisions. And uh, by looking at the, the biology that underlies this behavior, that gives us really important insight into the evolution of subsets of behavioral circuitry that, that all animals use. Taking images has been a really important part of my research uh, since the beginning. I spent a lot of time looking through microscopes and I eventually thought, would it be possible to capture the view that I get with a simple camera? So I just started playing around with the idea of just holding up my phone camera up to the eyepiece of the microscope and angling it just right. And through that process, I, I was able to capture a lot of really interesting images. Uh, I came into the lab one Saturday morning and was looking at an older plate, and I saw that this very interesting uh, formation of worms uh, had, had appeared. The worms eat bacteria. So in this case, there was a one large circular droplet of bacteria on the plate. Once the worms had finished all of the bacteria um, elsewhere, all that remained was a little ring around the edge, and that's where all the worms had, had congregated. So that's what you see in the image, a, a ring of worms, thousands of worms, uh, mostly young larvae, but also adults. And if you look carefully, you'll see worms of different sizes in the image. Uh, and you can see that they form this ring uh, on the plate. So after being selected as one of the winners of the Federation of American Societies of Experimental Biology BioArt competition, uh, I was told that there was going to be a blog post written on the NIH website where Francis Collins, the director of the NIH, would write about the image and what it represents and a little bit about C. elegans biology. It's really exciting to see uh, people getting exposed to that and seeing both the, the real scientific value of this kind of research and also the aesthetic value as well. What's next is that we uh, at UChicago are collaborating with students at Northwestern University and we're putting on a Chicago science art show. So this is going to be a community art show where uh, it's open to the public and people will be able to come in and see these really beautiful prints of striking images and they'll have the opportunity to see some really great art and also learn a lot of very interesting stuff about science. It's really exciting and I think it's a, a good chance that we'll be able to do it again in the future.